Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to be showing how to export to Windows. So first off, we want to go to Editor and Manage Export Templates. Uh, this will uh, make sure you have all the prerequisites for exporting to your desired platform. So I'm going to select Official GitHub Releases. This one I have uh, I have uh, experienced to be the fastest. Uh, usually, the available near and Detox family are a little bit slower on the download. So, just simply download and install. Okay, now after that's complete, we're going to close out of that. And project, export. We're going to be adding a Windows desktop. Uh, we're not going to be adding UWP since this is for uh, it is this different than what is this up? It'll, this is more for like Microsoft Store and Xbox. So add that. I recommend embedding the PCK, but it's completely up to you. This will just make sure that there is not an extra file generated be beside the uh, EXE file. So you can uh, work with the RC edit to change the icon, but I will not be going over that in this video. So ignore all warnings uh, in this tutorial. It will not affect the exported file beyond just the icon being the default Godot logo. So you can change your file version. And your company name. Your game name okay and you can edit file description copyright all that stuff i'm gonna leave those blank for now i'm going to export going to export to any file that you want so i'm going to export to my desktop uh tutorial export file and if you want to view the command prompt with your debug lines such as you know print out a certain variable you need to take this on and this will automatically open up the command prompt when you launch the game but for most cases you want this off so if we go ahead and save that again we're going to ignore these rc edit warnings i can go to where that file uh saved to and if we load it up you can see that's in the exe you can see that i have the game Playing standalone in the exe, you can see it's right here. Load it up and just to exit it. You exit it like a normal exe, and yeah, so very simple. It doesn't take much time at all. All right, hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any further questions, don't be afraid to comment them in the comment section. If you have any further suggestions about uh, current videos or future videos, I am open to hear about them. Thanks for watching.